What's going on guys? Welcome back to my course vlog at Roy Kaiser Golf Course. I ended the front nine with 37. Uh, this will be the back nine. I'm uh, here with two of my best friends in Austin, Andy and Keffer, both of which also work at Random Golf Club. Cheers. All right guys, hold time. What are your thoughts on hold time? Have you played old time before? Uh, played it's before. basically like hole one. Uh, if you, I don't know, they're, you, you just know. remove the left side bunkers <laughs> and then just add, add them to the right one. You take the, the easiest, you take the easiest hole of all time and just make it a little bit easier. Yeah, <laughs> it really is. It's just straight uphill. Yeah. What's what's oh oh 15, 15 Fifteen is actually the easiest one of mm -hmm. course. Okay. Yeah. So you know clearly. Hole 10, I just come off a pretty big par. We have we have a hot dog at the turn. Keffer has like probably a Coke and a Gatorade. I stick with water. Savage. Um, I'm trying to steam a driver just three times up the gut here, but we'll see what happens. He blocks it right. Blocks it right. <laughs> and don't even hit it that well, low key. That looks like um, a bunker. Yeah. Spoiler alert. It's a bunker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, really? Like, I've never done that. I've never done that here. So what are your thoughts heading in? You're like, I don't know if anyone's ever eaten a hot dog like this. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my hot dog grip is so whack. Are you eating it like what? Side things like this. These things are really good. Rick Kaiser, you do the hot dog situation crap. They do. My opinion. Do you, uh, did you have ketchup on them or any condiment? I, I was like strictly, strictly He's mustard. Trip. <laughs> strictly mustard, but I was going like a, I don't want to show it my hand, I was going like, Front and back. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So so I'm I'm 130 yards. I hit ticket nine iron out here. I think I'm tight. I think like I'm perfect. I'm like five feet. <laughs> Could be more. You can call your shot. Alone. No, I call my like, shot. So I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for it to hit. Five feet. I'm not even on the green. Feet. I'm not even on the green. And there's a trend. You're short every time. No, short every time. Yeah, I mean, you're, not, you're not pulling an eight iron from 130 yards. But I wasn't one, so maybe I should. Have. Terror putting again. Oh, go! Mom. And he did not get any of it. See, this is why you oh. practice terror putting, and you never have to chip run. I should have told you to chip. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> should have listened. Yeah. So. That was going at 30 miles So hour. right now I'm thinking like, are you really going to double bogey the easiest hole on the golf course right now? Because that would be a tough level. What's your prediction, Andy? I think he sinks it in, in his shadow. Got it. He's, yeah, he's got that. Like, he's got the, oh shit, I'm about to make a bogey. And then he's like, I'm not going to make a bogey. Talk about a hole 11, Pete. I honestly kind of want you to talk about a hole 11, Kevin. I, I don't have a problem with it. I mean, it's a really hard hole, but like some people in this room, I'm not going to mention any names, can't put the ball in play. It's a part of it. a mile away. It I is. got it. 468 yards. Look, I play Muni golf, and I don't know. If I like, if I see 468 on the scorecard, like that's par five. Yeah. It's definitely, it. it's the hardest and maybe the best hole on the course. Yeah, there's I always wind in the face, too. I wish we could see it here, but you're way right. Yeah, so I'm way right. I have a driving iron is what I'm pulling. I'm uphill, like I'm just, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to do here. I'm just whacking it, if I'm being honest. That sounded like yeah. a, a rocket. Sergio. It was a rocket, yeah. 10 feet. All right. Um. I mean, I'm a little, I went a little right. From yeah. there, that's like a, that is a great shot. Yeah. So, I think I'm a little low here, yeah. Honestly, this shot right here, just off the green, I've, I was having a tough time chipping earlier. Um, and I don't know. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, but for, you know, you don't want to have this kind of putt for. So, I think you ball. make the bogey putt, you miss the par putt. So, I'm saying, I think it's common miss here. That's fair. I call this too. <laughs> I completely forgot what happens. Okay. Yeah. Mm. A lot of edges burn. Still oh. close. Oh, wow. Great call, Andy. And this is the part that makes the move back. So do you, um, I've learned. I've learned. 
Can't put under pressure. Unless it's for bogey. What'd you say? What? Uh, yeah, I just want to take like 30 seconds. What was going to say? Uh, I'm going to this one. So this has got danger left. Danger left and danger right. Mm -hmm. Right. Just hit the center. That easy. Like it's hard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah I that, that was like... From what I remember, that was like the best shot I hit all day. Yeah, um, that's like 230 or 300 probably. Give me some credit, man. No. 270? Yeah. Holy shit. Looks like... Yeah. Dude, I couldn't hit an iron 270. Oh. Sorry. I thought it was short. Um, but I think I, I think I was glad I stepped off. Dude, I got caught. <laughs> Fire ants? No, I like, I like did a little, I gave a little fake. I like pulled my club back and then dropped off and then Simon panned out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So just an uphill birdie putt here. I mean, I, I keep on giving myself really good chances. It's just nothing. It's like, it's getting awkward how tough, how tough of a time I'm having. If anyone here like can give me putting lessons, I mean, I'll pay. I don't care. I just, I want to come back and like make some putts, you know? I'm not going to, I don't want to say it, but maybe change your grip sorry kyle <laughs> i can't do that I, I can't you should see kyle putt it's so silky smooth i'm not doing that um honestly the grip on my putter is the issue i wanted to go back to that like old school silicone like i don't know what you call it like pistol grip i'm just gonna go back to my super stroke flat so it's it's where i'm destined all right ace cam is live um this is this is a fun part three. You know, anytime you put water in play, it's like it makes it interesting. At least back pin. It's probably a hot take, but I think this is my favorite part three. It's a good. I mean, yeah. favorite part three. Yeah. Looks like oh, a little bell, no. maybe. Go, oh, please. Yeah, there. So I'm like begging for this ball to go. Um, I really. I. I was almost so bad. I was thinking about being three over on the part threes the whole time. <laughs> Yeah, you can see you can see I'm just like in my own head right now. Like, yeah, I almost went in the water there. Um, I don't know. Go off Roy Kaiser. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, look at that. The Kim trails behind that bird. Ooh. So you go from off the green to off the green again. That's never fun. Um, and more terror putting probably. <laughs> Let's go. It is the bear. You're not going to chip that. Yeah, You're it's not the bear. Yeah. He took the pin out, though, because he thinks he's going to make it. I think it's a bogey putt. He got all of that one. Yeah. You know. Oh! You know, it's fuck. It's really, it's really difficult watching your own demise. It's like, how do you feel right now? It's a little bit more awkward right right now than it was in real life. I mean, I was smiling there, but like, I don't know. I mean, I wanted to huck my putter in the water. That's for sure. Anti seventeen B seventeen B. Just gotta have a mind like the goldfish, you know? Yeah, it's not. (laughs) <laughs> gotta forget that stuff Simon, you good? <laughs> Simon's gonna die <laughs> What the fuck, dude? I'm trying to I'm, I'm trying to like talk about my horse log And you're over here uh, What is happening, Simon? <laughs> I'm that? so happy that Simon found that hilarious The goldfish? <laughs> <laughs> Just like like Peter shooting like 77 Gepper's just like goldfish man goldfish <laughs> he just made a double bogey <laughs> oh my god yeah I don't so <laughs> coach <Jeez>. Kepper <laughs> coach Kepper <laughs> what did you say yeah, Simon said coach Kepper coach Kepper <laughs> no honestly I was appreciative of that I mean like <sighs> Cause yeah, I mean, what the, were you doing? The, yeah, the flip side is you didn't say a fucking word to me. You were just sitting there, you know, doing my job, doing your job. Yeah. Yeah. Keffer sees me. Keffer sees me just like absolutely devastated after <laughs> doubling, you know, a really easy hole. 
um, which is also a par three and, you know, has my back and you just like, well, I mean, sign, not even there. Sign another one's birdies or double bogeys. He doesn't care <laughs> yeah. what you know. He, he just doesn't, cares about the does, drama. No, he doesn't care. Yeah, he doesn't care how, he doesn't care what I shoot. He cares if the shot looks good and then maybe like a blow up will happen and it'll be funny. Yeah. And then he gets, then he gets the drone out for when I'm in the bunker. I was probably like almost as invested in Peter's round as Peter was. I wanted Peter to do well so bad. Just gotta have a mind like a little fish, you know? Yeah. Coach Cap. Coach Cap. As long as Coach Cap. The case. Yo, next time you're on my bag, I don't care what anyone says. Okay. Right. All right, so par five here. This is a really fun hole. Um, it's a hole that makes you look good a lot of the time. Um, you can hit in two pretty easily. So I'm just trying to honestly swing as hard as I can. Uh, and yeah, put it in the fairway. Good yeah. Shot. I think just off the right. right. And it looks right. We'll see. Which side of the fairway? Which side of the fairway? Right side. Okay. All right, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a break here for a second. <laughs> okay. Wait. Is this yeah. is this about to be bad? Oh, this is so tough. Wait. 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 Pause it. Pause it. What's about to happen? Okay. So I mean, nothing's about to happen. Which I, mean, I want to get. So I have. Okay. Yeah. Right, no. Don't. So, yeah. Don't. Don't. Don't yeah. explain what happens. Well, I'm just gonna, gonna tell him the shot at. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah. I have a I have a four iron from here. I'm about 210 yards away. It's a front pin. And my thought process here is like, um. Let's make an eagle because you just made a double bogey. So like right. maybe we can get both of those shots back, strokes back. And I, I hit my four iron. Um, I if I hit a good one, I hit it about 220, a little bit in the wind. So I'm thinking you hit this perfectly and toss it up there. It's going to come right next to the pin and stop. Yeah. Yeah. And and what did I do? I hit it perfectly. So like, you know, I, I don't know. I, I think I hit a good shot here. I don't know what I did wrong. Sounds roasted, honestly. Right. Roast, I toss it up in the wind. Okay, let's just... Oh, you tore off. <laughs> <laughs> I like... I don't know if it got there, but it did. Twirl and walk. 15 feet. Oh! <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, oh it's such a tough look. 30 yards. 40 yards. I, cl 30 yards. I club twirled and walked it in, and I like... Ooh. It was... And okay. what you guys didn't get though, <laughs> yeah, what you guys did not get from this whole thing was like, I walked up to the green, I stood on top of that hill right there, and I looked around for the ball, and I looked in the bunker, and I looked behind, and like, that... off in the distance, I see like a little tiny white thing, I'm like, oh my god, my ball's, my ball's 20 yards short of the green. <laughs> and I club twirled. <laughs> and, and called my shot. Like, what are you doing, dude? Just club twirled in 4K, like, what after are you... just, <laughs> after <laughs> landing, yeah. after... Landing 25, 30 wait, what do you, wait, is there footage of you walking all over the course looking for your ball? I don't know. I, so. I hope so. So, yeah. I mean, I, again, at the end of the day, like, I have a 12-foot birdie putt here. Things could be worse. True, true. You better make it. Yeah. Mm. Stim four. <laughs> More like Seb for. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye. Right. Goodbye. Was it though? All right, we got another par three here. This is maybe the easiest par three on the course. It's Ace right. Ace Cam is Ace Cam is live. What do you guys What do you guys think? This is such a weird hole because you have you have kind of tough par par three, and then you have par five that like is relatively easy. But again, anything can happen on a par five if you're trying to push your luck. And then you go to uh, you know the pin was. It is a white flag, but the pin is, I'd say, like a little bit further back today. Um, I don't know. Like this is really one of the holes that you at least expect to par. Um, Sorry, I've been fucking with my hat. <laughs> All right. So, so Andy, given uh, given his performance on par threes so far, I want you to give like an official prediction on, Ooh, on what he gets here. Okay. So we've got two doubles. So far, and a par, bogey. and a bogey. Wait, what? From five over the par yeah. threes on the first three par threes. Yeah, and you've got fifty-two in hand, on thirty-seven. I'm just thinking green two pots par. I yeah. think he bounces back here. I'm not sure about the two putt prediction, but I think he hit the green. I had a good one here. I think struck well. Struck well. Okay. <laughs> Cool, okay. You know, at this okay. point, at this point, anything on the green in a par three is gonna like is gonna make me happy. Um, so it's about 
30 feet. I'd say so, yeah. 30 feet. It's like not not necessarily thinking it's going in, but you know, like, you could always roll. Get it there. Okay. Two foot par. I mean, the way you're playing, it's like kind of dirty. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so this is like, me. this is now the point in my round where I'm really starting to add up the strokes and I'm like thinking about the score more to shoot, which, yeah. I don't know if that's the way you should be going, mm-hmm. yeah, you should be going about it. That's how everyone does it, like, oh, I have yeah. this many shows, two shots left to fuck up and I can still break night. Yeah. Okay, so real, real quick. Hole 16 is a really unique hole. It's pretty short. It's honestly, it's 333, but it's like very drivable. Um, and there's trouble, right? But like, you can kind of put one up there, and I don't know. It's uh, it's definitely like a tough green hit too. So it's like a war. Ooh. Yeah, there's a group just like on the other side of that hill. It's yeah. coming off 117. That is just, so a great chance. He just knocks somebody in the head. They hit something, not a person. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was your power bait. Yeah, that was the power bait. Yeah. yeah. So that's your natural shot? You can try to... I don't know what I was trying to do there. I think the guy, there was a... Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, Simon's just rooting for chaos. Out right? of bounds. See, so yeah, I hit it. I honestly hit it very well here. Um, about 310 into the hazard. And this, I'm is just, a, this is a shaky, uh, shaky tracer clip because I'm literally on the edge of a cliff. Yeah, he is. It was like a risky, risky shot to film here for Calf, but this is the benefit of going for the green and missing. Um, at least I'm, you know, chipping three and can still get up and down. Um, Why you're holding that, Kev? I might have like one of the legs like up against the hill and just like trying to keep it as still as possible. Yeah, who's the real athlete? Yeah, exactly. Wow, that is a good shot. Yeah, that, that is a felt good shot. it felt that incredible. Is. It felt incredible after putting one in the hazard. Like walk up and see that first lost ball of the day to to you know do that to follow it up with that. Does he make it though? Yes. Wow. <laughs> what are you making for? Just ice. Let's go. Oh. Stones. I am so excited after that. So he pulls out the big dog. Yeah. Another unique hole, par five. It's like a real tight dog. Like, um, you can kind of hit a variety of clubs here because it's generally not reachable in two, but if you put it far enough in like the perfect spot, you can, you can, uh, you know, you can definitely like try to reach. It's like the tightest dog leg in history. It's like a horse. Yeah, it's really it's like an awkward hole to play. Yeah. Not so there's like a little play. little shelf up there. Oh, real nice. Um that I kind of got close to. If I would have gotten a little higher, I would have been able to hit an iron in, but instead I had to hit a three wood um like a million a million miles in the air and, and, and try and land it on the green. It's like a fucking baseball swing. Yeah, it was it was really weird. Oh! Unreal <laughs> shot, yeah. The Holy po- shit. The potential for this to go wrong was so high, and it, like it just didn't. Um, it, it was, I was like, you know. He likes it. Not necessarily the best, sh- well, yeah, like the most well hit shot of the day, but like okay. probably my favorite in terms of, you know, things are things are going like, well for me. 20 was into the wind, I was on the side of the hill, um, and like 20 yards right of the pin, and it kind of just stayed there, but I'm right off the right side of the green, uh, chipping for eagle. Yeah. Well, that folks chipping for eagle. (laughs) (laughs) And chipping for eagle. What do you think I'm gonna do here, Andy? Yeah. Look, terror. I have have, have never seen him do this from this far off the green. (laughs) That's true. Yeah, I was like, I was super confused whenever I was like, technically doesn't count as a putt. No, yeah, it doesn't. But just terror putting. Ooh, not even at the hole. Out of the frame. Ooh. But again, we still have a we still have a short birdie putt, so like, I don't know. Dude, it could go six in six feet. It really could. It sounds yeah. like it doesn't. <laughs> I don't know, man. Let's see. You do have the most consistent routine of anybody ever put on. Yeah, thank you. Doesn't matter if it's slow. It's not actually slow. It's pretty slow. <laughs> We have Jeff Gordon in the background. <laughs> 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 oh, 
deep cut. I was like Jeff Gordon of Halloween. <laughs> I was 25 years old. <laughs> so this is recent? No, I was five uh, years old. Oh, I was like, well, uh, okay, so. I believe you. I believe you. I was like, so, honestly, that's pretty sick. <laughs> so, so, final hole here. Um, honestly, shout out to Simon with a little, like, doohickey situation for the camera. Yeah, that I, is his wallet. Oh, that his is his wallet. Yeah. I pipe a three wood. Driver can go in the water potentially. So, you know, hole 18, I'm just, you know, again. Putting one in play. Shit. <laughs> right down the pipe. Ha <laughs> Pure yeah, yeah, that's that's good good one. Yeah. So I'm going to count. Water, it's kind of high. Yeah, um, I was I, like, I remember watching this. Wow. I was like, honestly, where it goes in the water. It was like, perfect yeah, perfect shot. Perfect shot. And I'm hitting the 50, 52 here, I believe. So like, I, I hit a real nice three wood. Um, a lot of adrenaline in the last shot. And just, I know right here that there's going to be a lot of adrenaline again. So I'm probably really trying to push a 52. Maybe it's a 56, I don't know. Wait, you're, you're counting adrenaline? Oh, Jesus. walking and twirling. Dude, honestly, oh. someone needs to Sorry. put me down. Are you, yeah. are you unconscious? <laughs> someone needs to put me down. I like, are you ever gonna walk and twirl again? Wait, oh, wait, I don't know what I was doing. Is it, is is that it really long or is it short? Huh? Yeah. Ooh. That was a little short, but here's the deal. Here's the deal. Normally when I do that, I do it out of irony and just like, it just appears weird on camera. <laughs> when you club twirl like 30 times and you don't even hit it close once. Um, uh, give it to him. Get him. Oh! Wow. Really Tap in part for what? 77. 77. So what do you think was like... What was the hardest yeah. part? Front, back, um, threes. I will say... Parting Park video. Adam, this is your first one. <laughs> Adam, this is your first one. <laughs> oh, no. Sean, have you been here a few times? Wait, what is it? <laughs> thanks for uh, thanks for tagging along with me on that. Oh yeah, I got paid. <laughs> <laughs> the toughest part was, I don't know, if you look at the scorecard, you can see pretty easily what the toughest part was. Basically hole eight when I doubled the par three, um, that wasn't an easy thing to happen after being like even through seven. And then, I don't know, that same sort of energy carried through hole 13 for sure. But I think like I'm pretty comfortable with 14 through 18 and was hoping to get a couple strokes back. But like, I don't know, that middle that middle section is, is, is kind of tough, you know, outside of 10. Um, so I don't know, it was like, it was kind of how I expected it. I think I was like hoping for maybe like a couple a couple more putts to go in, but like, I don't know. I don't know. It was, it was, it was one of the more fun rounds of golf I've ever played. It was like, I don't know. At the end of the day, it was just like me hanging out with two of my closest friends. It was, uh, yeah. it was a good day. Is, is, there, good day. is there something you would have done differently, like as far as like shot goes? <sighs> um, honestly, I like really don't have any shot choice regrets. I think like, I think I played it a lot differently than I play a normal round where um, I. Uh, I definitely was. I definitely was like thinking about the result of each shot and how it would impact the next shot. I think. I mean, I, I don't know if you count the chipping or the the, the terror putting as a as a as a change. I would have chipped more for sure, um, and then maybe you know, take taking a lot of break out of the putts. But I don't know. All that also is to say, like my short game is definitely my weakest my weakest point. So you know, I'm just happy I didn't miss a bunch of short ones. There's only a couple. But yeah, it was it was really fun. It was really fun yeah. to do. Very good. Yeah, and break 80. And yeah, and at the end of the day, I broke 80. I think like coming into it, I was like, worst case scenario, everyone thinks I'm just like a shit golfer and that's cool too. So, I don't know, 77 is not that bad, but thank you guys so much for watching and yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully you'll see me again doing it, doing it somewhere else.